Avoid becoming a distracted learner. Staying off the downward attention spiral. Develop your prefrontal cortex now. The research is in, and I'm quoting some here from Daniel Goleman. The area of the brain that governs focus and executive functioning is known as a prefrontal cortex. The brain is the last organ of the body to become anatomically mature. It keeps growing until the mid-twenties. That means right now in middle school your brain in prefrontal cortex is still developing. The attentional circuitry needs to have the experience of sustained episodes of concentration. That means reading the text, understanding, and listening to what the teacher is saying or what your classmates are saying in order to build the mental models that create someone who is well educated. Really it's about developing your focus while doing so you are building your brain. Multitasking is a myth. The research is almost unanimous which is very rare in social science and it says that people who chronically multitask show an enormous range of deficits. They are basically terrible at all sorts of cognitive task. Cognitive is a great vocabulary word. Including multitasking itself. When people say they are multitasking, what they are really doing is something called continuous partial attention, where their brain switches back and forth quickly between tasks. What that basically means is that in order to go from one task to another, you actually have to stop processing what you're doing with the one task and then restart your brain to do the other task. And even though it only takes milliseconds, it is not multitasking. You are not doing two things at once. It's multitasking while learning that has the biggest potential downside. I don't care if a kid wants to tweet while she's watching American Idol or have music on while she, he plays a video game, but when students are doing serious work with their minds, they have to focus, said Victoria Rideout. Keep this in mind as you are studying and practicing. What does this mean? One, honor your learning by being fully present. When you are studying, um, don't have a lot of different um, distractions happening. Remember, you are building your brain when you focus your attention to the task you are working on. When studying, avoid the urge to multitask. Use multiple streams of media only when you're not building your brain. Like the author said, if you're watching TV or you're listening to music, it's okay to do multiple things at once because you're not trying to put that information into long-term memory. Some daily tips. Start fresh each day. Turn off all running apps by double tapping the home button and swiping up. Yes, we know that having Safari open will allow you to bypass the web filtering system when you come to school. It's also a violation of the use policy and the honor code. If you find yourself getting distracted in class, maybe turn off all the apps before you start a class that you know you will not need for class. Email is one app that you most likely will never need during a class. Organizational tips. Limit your swipes. Create a study page. Only include the apps or folders of apps you use to study. Drag folders of your most used apps to your iPad dock for fast access. If you use multiple apps to take notes, organize those apps in a notes folder. Some apps may only be used in certain subjects, so make folders just for those apps. Add web clips. Add web clips to websites you use to study and save these web clips on your home screen. Organize those links in a folder. Those links will only go to the website you need to use, which can help you from getting distracted. If you don't have to do a Google search, chances are pretty good you are not going to become distracted because the web clip takes you right to where you need to go. Corral the apps you don't use. 
put the apps you never use in folders on the last screen of your iPad so you don't have to swipe past them each time you're looking for an app. New in 2015-2016 is the ability to not even install the app. Your teachers will request the apps you have to have for their class. The asterisk means all of the required apps must be installed by all students. This will be clear as you go through the installation process of the apps. Create a calming home screen. Set your wallpaper and lock screen images to something interesting but not distracting. Perhaps your class schedule with your name covered or cropped out so you know where your next class is. Distraction avoidance. Adjust settings. Go into settings and turn on do not disturb to prevent interruptions from well-meaning classmates. Turn off notifications and settings to prevent the distractions of wondering what you may have missed. FOMO, fear of missing out. Turn off sounds and settings to prevent the distraction of noise from notices. Turn on airplane mode, which will create a do not disturb zone. With airplane mode on, Wi-Fi will not be active and you will only be working on the iPad locally. If you're still having trouble, use accessibility guided access to restrict yourself to just the one app that you need to use. It's pretty straightforward to set up. Use these tips to build good digital habits of learning, to be present, to get the most out of the learning opportunities, and to continue to build your brain.